So should we head over um, to the car itself and start to think about what we might put onto it? Put onto it. Yeah. Should we do that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. We got. <laughs> we're over here as well. So. Um, so which which ones do you want to pick up? If you start picking up some some um, uh, some things, or you can start creating stuff. So you need to clone them, um, uh, and then. Yeah. Max has got Max has got a phone. <laughs> Who are you going to dial with your phone? It's quite funny. Yeah, you can start making it really big. <laughs> That's a very big phone. It's not going to get in your pocket. So, so, I think the one on the end is kind of kind of so you can start thinking about where, where, if you had this phone and you were interacting with the car, where would you expect to 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 to, uh, to do the QR code? Do you think it'd be the door? Where you expect the door handle to be? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that would make sense because that would tie in with what you're, you know, what you're used to in terms of getting in the car. You associate that with the door handle, wouldn't you? Um, so, but as we said, they're going to need to be some form of um, display to give you feedback that you've done, done, you know, that this has happened. Um, and then presume at what point do you think the car door the car door would open or would you open the door yourself would it allow you to ah oh, someone's got a qr code yeah maybe we do although we are trying to look at scenarios where people don't have phones or the phone has... so yeah so you've got a qr code where the door handle would be <laughs> you just that's it go let me in let me in if you go to fly mode you can go and get inside the car if you like <laughs> <laughs> that is very funny. You're having a lovely, lovely little drive there. Yeah, it's great. Loving it. <laughs> this is a direct model. This is a Waymo car, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's like a Google car. So Rebecca, if you want to get, if you want to get in, then you go. You need to go into fly mode. You just hit. You just hit the G key. So we're not oh, meant to be. We're not meant to be inside the car. That's what the others are doing. I think. There you go. I, I deliberately made the car very big. This is very, very surreal. I've got a robin just outside my car window. Oh yeah, that's quite weird. <laughs> right. It's quite interesting that it. How long does it take you to make this? Sorry. How long does it take to make this? I don't know what to make the to make the the car. Yeah. No, well, I didn't make the car. I just, I just oh. imported it. Um, oh. uh, so I needed. I wanted to find something that was sort of was typically a no, known as a driverless car, um, but also was quite good in terms of a sort of a blank canvas um, for for putting stuff, you know, for creating stuff inside. There's no steering wheel or anything. So it's quite nice for that. We need to let the others come in, I think, because they're meant to be inside the car. So. Do you think this car might have some LED lights? Yeah, it's yeah, I guess you can have sound you and light for whether you're visually impaired or sound. Yeah, you'd audio need impaired. you'd need you'd need to know that um, that it was slowing down. That potentially um, uh, we know, or that it was going to it's going to have to interact with other pedestrians, isn't it? So it might need to. To, to let pedestrians know that it's giving way so they can cross the road. Yeah, well, I guess it's a taxi thing with a light on as well, whether the taxi is in use or not. Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah, so you might get that at the moment, might you? Because um, <coughs> you won't, um, you won't be, you won't know for sure um, if there's anybody actually in it being taken on a journey. And particularly if it's a shared service, it might be that you get into a taxi with somebody else you don't know. So that might happen, you know, make better use of the space. Um, um, 
Surely there'd be a problem if you put a, like a big old light on the top of the taxi where the motion cameras are oh, trying to see what's around. around. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 to, yeah, that, 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 that um, thing on the top there, um, if I point to it, um, that's, that would be a LiDAR sensor. So in order to get to get to get 360 vision, um, so you would need to yeah if you're going to have some form of display here to say that the taxi is um, you know open for business or not, then um, uh, then it's gonna it's gonna have to be somewhere different to that. Um, so it might be, but it needs to be seen in all directions. So it might have to go all the way around the car potentially. Um, so that would be something to something to be thinking about. Do you think this? Um, let's have a look about these different things. Um, so I, I I do think the phone was going to be really critical to these, at least in the in the short term, um, as as your own device. But you have to account for the fact that people won't necessarily have their phone. The phone might have um, um, it might have dropped it. They might might have run out of charge. Um, well, they just don't have a phone, and if it's public technology like a taxi, you've got to be able to to be able to interact with this vehicle without a phone. Um, and so, so it's you know you've got to ha have other ways. You know, imagine you're at an airport, and then you um, uh, and you drop your phone on the way, and then then suddenly you can't can't access any taxis. So. How do you think you'd be able to get into the taxi without a phone? Like a numpad or something. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, yeah, that's a good idea. So can, can we create a numpad? Um, it's like it's just like a just a like a calculator, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you might be able to get a, get a calculator in here. That's a good idea. Because because it could be that you just put in a pin code. That you've um, uh, that you've got, and that allows you to to then um, uh, to gain access to the vehicle. Um, there you go. Someone creating a is that? A... If you don't have a phone, how would you pay for a service? So you might have done that online. I might that might have done that. Um, yeah, online through a website, or you might have done it, um, but over the phone. Um, uh, so. Um, uh, yeah, well, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, uh, because at the moment, you would need you would need um, some money, wouldn't you? So, oh, who said that? Is that someone else? Just said that. Is that one of the other on the other lot? I think so. So. Yeah, so that's interesting, isn't it? About um, about you you wouldn't be able to use cash, would you? Um, uh, or yeah, so that's 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 the thing about what what happens if you've we, when we've been doing this in our project at the moment we've been thinking about 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 examples where people don't have their phone um, and um, and and it and it does get really difficult um, difficult generally generally there's an assumption in these design processes that people will just use their phone for loads of stuff um, but. Um, here we go. So we've got a calculator there now. Um, the payment process, it could be just linked to an account and then paid later. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, so once you've booked it, then then, then the key thing is that you've booked it in advance. So so although that task analysis over on the side there where we looked had... had um, had the capability... was... was um, um, so that task analysis didn't have payment in it. You know, the, we, we've got another part that's got payment issues, but it also had hailing in there. It's possible that for, for, for robo taxis, there just isn't an actual hailing thing. It always has to be booked in advance. 
Um, you don't just like wave one and it stops in the middle of the street. Um, so certainly in the first instance, I think there are more sort of complexities associated with hailing. So um, uh, the um, uh, yeah. So so any other thoughts? I think I do think there's going to end up being um, uh, some form of external display to these about their uh, about their um, status. So as as we were talking before about whether or not they're available for hire or not, but but also um, about about the, what their intent is, so, and that's more about people crossing the road. There's a lot of a lot of research studies on that. Um, so, um, uh, so that is, yeah, that's really critical. Um, yeah, that sounds good. That's good stuff. Um, so something I, um, you might have noticed up in the top corner there, I don't know if you can't see it so clearly from here, but up there when I'm looking, there, what looks like a nice, a nice picture of a desert island is actually a link to another room. So if you fancy going off and having a bit of sort of social time on a desert island to 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 um to to relax at the the end of a hard hard half hour on this thinking about this you can um, head up to the to the top there um uh, and um over here There you go. So if you fancy heading off there, you can come back again. Um, uh, um, but um, yeah, that basically will take you off to um, to um, to a, yeah, a nice desert island that I created. So it's all um, um, uh, yeah, it was all good fun. Okay. Thanks, Brandon.